Hey, it's Antti. Today I'm gonna show you how I created this Ghost in the Shell Robot Geisha picture. So let's check it out. Ever since I heard about the new Ghost in the Shell movie that they were planning to do, I started planning a photo shoot. I'm really lucky that I have friends in cosplay industry uh, that are kind of willing to go the distance and make these amazing costumes. This time again my friend Ina, uh, my Ray cosplays, started doing the Robot Geisha costume. Uh, on the photo shoot we had our, my friend also uh, Kiki making the makeup. And a lot of people have been asking how I created that porcelain shiny plastic kind of a skin so I'll be showing that today so I will show you a technique how you can achieve that kind of a reflective uh, porcelain skin so let's check it out in Photoshop so here I have opened our robot geisha Ina to our Photoshop so now we start to retouch so I tried different kind of a techniques, but this was seems to be the fastest way to kind of produce the quality of stuff that I wanted. The high frequency separation was perfect for this kind of a picture to test out, and I found out it worked really, really nicely in the end to get this kind of a porcelain skin. So I would be using uh, high frequency separation. Uh, this is just a retouching toolkit that I've been using. So. Uh, I have also actions, but with this I can just press a button button and get uh, myself the frequency separation. I will go through this uh, retouching toolkit panel later on in my videos, but I will just use this time the frequency separation. And what this gives me now is the blur. So I have to kind of see that the texture starts to disappear and I will maybe seven pixels will be perfect for this image. And I press OK. So now the action will divide my picture into two different layers. That would be the texture layer and then the tones and transitions in the lower layer. So first I will start with the low frequency, um, my layer. So I will be using lasso tool, maybe around 10 pixel um, feather radius. And I'm starting to even out these transitions here. I'm selecting that, going to filter Gaussian blur and maybe around 10 pixels and just press OK. And I'm selecting another area, Command F to redo that and I will press it many times to get this even, evening out all the tones. I don't need any of these. So I'm just evening out everything and I'm not touching the skin yet. So I'm trying to make really smooth transitions can see it from the nose I need to kind of get that so I have to get all the textures in a way out of the pictures and I'm evening out the transitions because of this if this would be a, like a porcelain or plastic all the textures and all the transitions has to be super smooth under here because that makes that illusion that it's definitely plastic so um, I will go through this I will fast forward this So now I have basically the tones evened out under the skin texture. So if I put the skin texture back on, you will see the difference already. So I have kind of made everything kind of really, really smooth. And now we're going to start retouching the skin. And what technique I used, I used this smudge, smudge tool, strength 50%. And I'm just starting to paint basically the, the textures out of it. So I'm selecting to high frequency um, layer and I'm just starting to paint. I'm following basically the contours of the, of the image. So this way when I'm smudging 
uh, the texture I'm getting rid of all the skin texture and I was trying to smooth and, and follow the kind of the lines I'm not going to go over these edges I'm trying to leave that sharp edge for example for the uh, transition between the red and the white so here I have to kind of go around to like that I'm just smudging the the skin texture to be smoother and I'm changing the brush size so I will get a really precise kind of a shapes and I will go through these parts here of course there would be on um, plenty of other techniques to achieve the same kind of a stuff but this was the technique I did all my images how I retouched the skin and for me it definitely worked and so again I will fast forward you don't have to watch all the way through me So now it starts to look better. Uh, one thing we could do at this stage is to get the eyes all black. So I'll do another layer B for brush and I'll just overpaint black into the let's put a softer, slightly softer brush. Maybe slightly less opacity. So I will just just paint these eyes out but I will leave that small light area there with a reflection of the, from the flash to the image because I think it just brings a bit more depth to the eyes even though I'm sucking all the life out of her eyes by painting them black so going along here and like that okay then I will have these eyes done so you can definitely see that the life has been sucked out of of her I need to do a bit of more smudging on that area like that so now she has these dark sinister eyes so um what's next so then i would need to kind of figure out how i would do that kind of a 3d look and the plastic reflection stuff so so for the face and the reflections i used this uh 3d model uh from by kung fu master ps it's a, a cc zero license uh, I downloaded that and I used Blender to kind of set up the light. Um, so because I want to have real kind of a reflections on that. So I've just made a couple of light sources. Then I'm just going to render out this image basically from here. I mean Blender is a uh, free 3D software you can use. And I just render that image out from there. So I can use those bits and pieces from that so here we have all the reflections so we're gonna use that I'm just going to get first only the head part from here I don't need anything else like that
and I'm going to bring that layer into my scene. Okay. So what we need to do now is to try to kind of aim. I think the overlay blending mode works really nicely. So what I need to do is kind of aim now the head. It's not aligning perfectly. So I need to do a bit of a remapping. So I'm just using these distortion elements to kind of get all the stuff where I need this to be. Kind of aiming those mouths and that looks better already. I can use also puppet wrap to kind of get that working better. So I'm just going to make kind of a few dots here so I can isolate for example the nose better. So I would need to distort the nose part in so I'm just aligning these to kind of match my face. Here you can see the lips are not perfectly aligning either. So I would need to distort my character slightly. So with Puppet Rub you can kind of create these dots that it kind of isolates what you are moving. Same thing with the eyes. Let's lock some of these dots and try to align those eyes. Also, I think they work. That needs to be turned slightly. And then the jawline. Try to match that. All the, all the stuff from here. Get them aligned. So kind of getting the rough, roughly those areas in their places. And maybe get from here. That looks good. Alrighty. So there we have in a way the base of our reflections we need to kind of start tweaking this anyways and try to find better how it looks better I think the transparencies has to be slightly lower like that so you, now you can start seeing how cool it's gonna look I'm gonna mask out the stuff that I don't need kind of fading out these parts with the kind of a smoother brush kind of a kind of trying to vanish the hard edges of that texture over here too but there you have in a way already the really cool looking plastic skin so that's basically just a rendered rendered 3d face with the different kind of a lights to get this really nice almost looks like a real reflections um, do a bit of a masking from there too so the next we will need to do kind of the three dimensional lines to the face so I'm doing that with the path tool uh, P for pen tool and at first I was draw a line for example here go through the face um, maybe I will do a curved line something like like that maybe I will do another line here in the forehead maybe a one line to go from the cheek up up here and then we need to have the jawline kind of opening up and from there I will do like that maybe a couple of lines here over there and over here just to contour like the face so next up we have to stroke that line uh, with the brush we select the brush tool 
and you can kind of see what kind of a sized brush you are using. So I would be using a hard brush with black and 95% so I get a slightly softer edge. So then, so I would select a path and then just stroke path. Uh, before that, actually make a new blank layer so the the edge the, the the lines will be drawn on that. Stroke path, and you will get those these kind of lines. What we can do now is to make a copy out of that. Command J. Let's stop duplicate it on the other side. Just going to line that. So I would have a nice symmetrical features. Like that. So now I have the contours. I can merge down those layers. So next, I will uncheck that now for now. So now I have to merge down everything that is visible in this image. <coughs> Shift, Command, Option and E makes a stamp visible. Like everything that is just a blank, uh, another layer with everything that was, was, was visible. And then I need to press Command and this layer to make a selection out of these contour lines. I can uncheck that now but then I have to make a copy and like a new layer of everything that is selected now command J so that makes me this kind of a layer of these contours and what I can do for this layer is go effects bevel and emboss and now you can see I will get these kind of a cool embossed lines to go around the face uh, you can just press OK. I think that's you can kind of test out how soft and sharp you want to these lines and what size lower or higher kind of a embossed stuff. I think that looks pretty good. Yes. And you can kind of erase, you can mask out those stuff that you don't in a way need where it needs to be ending. So now it starts to kind of look already rather cool. Um, those are in a way the features and uh, techniques that I use to create. Then I would start doing the hair and retouching and color grading and, and stuff like that. But here you can see if we started from that and with the 3D elements aligned uh, with the face you will get really nice and especially with those embossed lines that goes through the face you will get really really cool. Um, this kind of a, a porcelain skin um, and robotic stuff done to your image. Um, hopefully you get something out of this. Um, there's plenty of other ways, of course, doing this. This was a technique that I used to create these, all these 3D um, and these plastic faces. And if you like these videos, put a thumbs up, write a comment what you thought about this. And of course, subscribe and press the bell button so you'll get all the latest updates of my uh, retouching stuff and news, especially. And I will be seeing you on my next videos. Cheers.